Hi everyone, this is Mackerel Phones, and I am playing Contact. I've been waiting for this one for, for a few years now, and I'm very excited. And, uh, I think we can all agree that when this is your title screen, you're in for something special. Before we go any further, I want to apologize. My voice and the game audio are wildly unbalanced in the opening section here. Once again. It's especially frustrating because Contact has a fantastic opening, and I effectively ruin it. Though it wouldn't have been particularly good anyway, as I admit that I was not at the top of my game when I recorded this. However, I get much closer to the top of my game by the end, I promise. Of course I fixed the audio problem later on. You'll be able to hear me fine by the end of this very video, and from then until the end of the Let's Play. However, after contact, and reflecting on the audio problems I experienced since Dreaming Sarah, I decided something had to change. I began recording my voice and the game audio separately, and actually learned something about how to make my voice sound consistently as good as what you're hearing now. Thus, when I consider the development of my Let's Plays, I consider contact a turning point. The end of the first season, if you'd tolerate my use of the term. Perhaps I'll make it up to Contact someday and do a long play or something. The Professor is among the most interesting characters I've encountered in my video gaming career, so let's go meet him. This interruption is over, and thank you again for bearing with me. Let's, uh, let's press a F3. I want to do some Contact. What? Mike sells. Uh... Maybe this cartridge was pre-owned. New game. Title screen? Oh, sorry, Professor. Ouch! Huh? Wait a minute. Hey, can you hear me? Do that again. Um, okay. Yeah. Hmm. Aha! There really is someone out there. I'm so nervous! I can't believe I didn't have a speech ready! Okay, don't go anywhere! This is important! I need a little information before we get started! So, you're Regigiba? Regigiba? Oh, geez, that's my other screen name! But, yeah, I am! Regigiba, huh? That's certainly. unique! So, where on your planet do you live, Regigiba? How specific, how specific do you want to be here? Because I can be pretty specific. But, uh, I'm gonna assume they want, they're asking for a country, right? Yeah. I'm gonna assume that. That's what they normally mean in these video game type opening situations. Uh. Oh wait, hometown is what they're asking for. See, because it says hometown there at the bottom of the keyboard. Well, in that case, I guess I'll save. Uh, let's, let's do backspace. I'll be honest about my hometown. I'm not going to hide it from anybody. I, I'm, I'm an honest guy. I mean, we all have things to hide, but I don't have that much to hide. Certainly not enough that I would hide my hometown. There's the... Never heard of it. Yeah. Yeah, most people haven't. Ooh. Let me enter all that into my main PC here. 
what? Find B. Mm. Oh, that's right. I thought there was more. Mm. All right then. Here. Mm. Tell me about your hobby, Vegijiba. My hobby? You mean just what what I'd call it? I mean, I got a lot of hobbies. Clearly, one of them is video games, but I, I'd say, um, my primary hobby, right? I'm not even sure I'd call it a hobby. Video games is more of a hobby. Writing, on the other hand, is is more of my passion. There's a big difference between those two things. Although they can at times overlap. Yeah. Mm. Writing, huh? That's a fine hobby. I should have capitalized it. Mm. Next question. What's your favorite food? Jeez, this is... I feel like he's... Why, this professor here is violating my, my privacy here. There's a lot of good food in the world. I'm not sure which one I would say out of hand is my favorite. But if I really had to go with something, I might say... Oh, jeez, oh, that's hard. That's hard. There. Rice is good. I mean, there are a lot of other really good things, but, you know, I, I found that it's difficult to go wrong with, uh, with rice as my fave food. I like rice that much, do you? Mm. I do too. Mm. Then, what's your least favorite food? Um, least favorite, huh? Well, it's not doesn't come up very often, but uh. There we go. I understand that, that natto is good for you, that, that some people really like natto, but uh, it just ain't for me, man. It ain't for macrophones. Mm. Natto. Yeah, that makes sense. Mm. Not many folks like natto. Mm. Okay, last question. Mm. Write something about yourself. Mm. It should let me know what kind of a person you are. Mm. Mm -hmm. A tough one, eh? It should be meaningful. Mm. You have a dream, Rigidjo. Mm. Any ambitions? A secret? I promise not to look. Professor, sir, I do not trust you when you say you promise not to look, but maybe that's just rude of me. I don't know. What is my dream? I suppose... You know, a lot of dreams. You know, friendship. Love. I guess what I really want more than anything else, though, is to make a meaningful difference in the world, and to thereby become immortal. Because in the end, really, it's not so much the, um, uh, the prospect of, uh, of doing something great in the world that attracts me as much as the, uh, the idea of being remembered for it. So, in the end, I suppose that, uh, I suppose that I'm kind of, uh, selfish. But, is it really bad to do something if it's the right thing to do, even if we are in it for selfish reasons? I wouldn't necessarily say so. Let's go. It's been entered. I didn't make promise. Thank you muchly. That should do it. Oh. Wait, why did you need this information to stabilize your Pong operating system? Mm. Now I can contact you when I want, Rigidjo. Mm. Let's get down to business, shall we? Mm. This is actually not all that surprising. Mm. I've had a signal going out for a while now. Mm. I don't even know how many years it's been now. Mm. According to this data, Mm. You've used a DS to contact me. Mm. Amazing that it can connect our two worlds. Mm. I've actually never seen anything so high-tech. Mm. Where'd you buy it? Could you get me one? No. Mm. <coughs> mm. At any rate, I thought you might help me. Mm. Well, I think you could continue to count on You can even pretend it's just a game. Mm. The thing is, you see, mm. 
there. Uh oh. Weird dream. Here, boy. Why? The green ruby isn't worth that much. Watch out! Quick, get inside! under attack.
Oh. Okay. Uh, I haven't even done anything yet. Hmm. Hello? Can you hear me out there? Hmm. Not Terry, I'm talking to you. Hmm. Can you see Terry anywhere? Hmm. So he's out cold, huh? Hmm. I'm afraid I can't see him at all from here. Hmm. Can you keep an eye on him for me? Hmm. That crash totaled my ship, I'm afraid. Hmm. And power cells have been scattered. Hmm. For cover, I've merged my ship with a hmm. pirate galleon I found lying around. Dude! How did you just... Okay, I'm not gonna question. I'm gonna go... I'm, I'm gonna trust you on this one, dude. Mm. Once I fix my PC, we can set sail for me. Mm. The PC powers the ship and lets me watch Terry. Mm. And on that note, you wake him up for me. Um... Sure thing, dude. Yo, Terry. Terry! Terry and the pirates. Here we go. Come on. <laughs> he makes cute noises. Um. Guess we're starting. Huh? What's that? I, I don't know, Professor. Please, sir. Did you? Mm. Right, I'm not gonna overdo it, Professor. So, this is strange. Because I've clearly been established as a consciousness distinct from mm. Terry, yet I'm enabling Terry. What can I do? What the heck have I done? Is he- is this mm. stealth mode? I'll say he's trying. Look at him. He, he thinks he's cool when he's walking like this. He looks like a dork. Now I... Yeah, his buttons aren't doing much. Who are you? Are you? Can I talk to you? So, what? Wait, what? Is this combat mode? It's like voluntary? Oh! This is an interesting combat system, I gotta say. I mean, I don't know how horsemanship like it is for him to just start kicking a random crab on the beach. Maybe Terry has some problems. He probably does because he's trying so hard to look cool. Wait, what? Oh, what does this do? No, don't... What? Okay, let's just get out of here. I, I... Yeah, attack him. Okay, I am... Losing very hard to a random crab on the beach. I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have picked this fight. I made a mistake. Okay. Run! Terry! Get away from him! We've made an error, Terry! We made a mistake! Um... Oh, he's still after us! Okay! This is not it. um... Okay. Okay, we, we've calmed it down. Looks like the professor is having a bit of a hmm. crazy time up there, too. That is what deserted implies, Professor. It's a good point. Okay, I'm gonna be careful next time hmm. I pick fights with random crabs. Also, I have to say, Mochi is a very cute name for whatever that animal is. Is it a cat? Hmm. Looks kinda like a cow. Oh, wait, we should go knock fruit out of trees. No, no, get away from the- get away from the crab! Get away from the crab! I never realized how dangerous crabs were. Good lord. That's- we deserve that. We picked that fight after all. So where's the fruit that he keeps talking about? No, get away! Get away from the anemone! Oh, here's a tree. Fruit. Nice, we got an item. How do we access the item? No. We... Um... 
Do I tap him to access the item? Yeah. What is A supposed to mean? Because I press an A, and it isn't doing very much. I tap A, and it just shuts the menu. Don't worry, I'll figure out this interface. What? Hmm. What did that icon- Oh, dude, loot! How do we get to that loot? I'd like some loot. I'd also like to eat that tropical fruit, because I suspect it will uh, replenish some much-needed health. Leave him alone, leave him alone. Don't worry about that guy. Ah. Uh. Hmm. There's something in that tree? Nah, I thought there was, but there is a sheep up there. That's pretty neat. Honestly, these uh, controls are making me feel a bit sheepish. <laughs> oh, oh man. That's, I'm sorry. I shouldn't be doing that this early on. Drive everybody away. He was in the cave. Hmm. Hey, don't wander away, you'll drop off my radar. Mm. Come back to where I'm at. Mm. I want to give you something. To Sorry, Professor. What the heck does that mean? Oh, I get it. That, that icon must mean that you're beginning to get out of his radar. Mm. You know what, though? That Professor is a... Well, he seems like a nice enough guy. Like, he's a little bossy, but mm. he's pretty friendly. I'll saunter safely, Professor. Don't worry. I swear, he's such a he's such a worry worth that guy. And he's gonna is he is the top screen gonna be like this the whole game? Cause if so, cool. I could go for some team right now myself. You know, maybe I should have read the manual. Hmm. Yeah, maybe I should have read it. Hmm. Hey, everything wants a piece of me. I'm not. I don't want to deal with this. What are these? These worms? These flowers? I don't know what they are. Mm. Oh yeah, the sun is out there. It probably will be fun. But before we go out there, I think maybe I should just, uh, y you know. Mm. He's worrying about- the professor is worrying about the kid. About Terry. As a friendly. Well. Uh, mm. I still think that I should probably read the manual. Well, actually. Actually. The manual wasn't very helpful. It's also neat and quirky, though. Maybe we'll meet the professor out... Oh! We did meet the professor out here. Yeah, professor, I'm skeptical that you're just going... That you just found this lying around. I, I don't believe you. Okay. Oh. Let's go sailing. Whoa! This is neat. This looks very nice on the inside. It looks like a Super Mario RPG. Must be where the professor sleeps. Or perhaps it's where Terry is going to sleep on this nautical swashbuckling adventure. Which apparently involves. I suppose the professor is being attacked by space aliens? Oh, yeah, here we go. Terry! You were out cold for a while. There's some, uh. sand on your cheek. Aww! Anyway, sorry to get you mixed up in this. Over there can be yours. And, uh, I have a favor to ask of you. I need help locating elemental cells. They power my ship, so they're kind of important. Could you turn that on for me, Dad? I'm definitely a child of the 21st century. This is a fancy transmitter, the menu. It stands for multi-element nano unit. Mm. You can insert, oh, not insert. You can start it up using the. I guess that's X button. Yeah, X. Mm. It lets you talk to me and do other stuff. Mm. You can test it out by checking items you find. Mm. Don't worry if you forget all this. Mm. I designed it to be very user friendly. Mm. Watch the top screen for the occasional tip. Sure thing. That seemed to be addressed to me more than Terry, though. Okay, so now we can access the menu. Okay, good. I was beginning to get some weird vibes off of this. Okay, so I'm still getting the weird vibes off of this. Let's see what we got here. We got, um... This is great. This grid. 
we can play Battleship. Yeah. Battleship. Hmm, that's good. That's a fun game. So here's our food. We have a cola. Two oranges. And three cheeseburgers. Holy crap. Terry just fell asleep on a park bench with three cheeseburgers with him? I mean, the other stuff, that, that might just be like a lunchy pack, but three cheeseburgers? I don't know, maybe it's a, maybe it's a big appetite. We have no loot as of yet. I have no idea what this screen is. And by the looks of that icon, the game doesn't either. And here we have a body shot. What's that? Uses one EP, goes straight to the liver, and continues to inflict damage easily. Oh, I see. It's like a shot of liquor. That will go straight to your liver if you're not careful. So... We're at level 6 on a lot of things, but we're level 10 on some things, and level 1 on a few things. Um... Yeah, it looks like we're a level 5 hammerer. I, I guess maybe Terry was going to a... Um... You know, one of those schools where you learn, like, trades. What are those called? I forget. You, you know, like, he, he, he's trying to train to be a carpenter. Oh, this must be the kitchen. But what do we got in the fridge? We got anything in the fridge? Terry, Terry, the fridge. No, no. What? Oh, oh, something here. Look, Terry, look. There we go. He can't cook if he's wearing those clothes. And... Really? Okay, I mean, I, I don't blame you. Those are pretty nice clothes. You probably want to, you know, cook wearing an old t-shirt or, or an apron or something. Ooh. A mouse? Eh, whatever. I'm not worried. It's, it's a professor's problem. Like having a mouse around lots of wires, that's a problem. Although I have to say, I don't really see any wires up in the professor's side of things. Oh, can we? No, okay. Yeah, I can't cook in these clothes. Okay, fine. Well, in any case... Oh, wait, is this a doorway? Or is this a win... No, it's a window. It's a window. Here you can get a nice view of, uh... I guess the cliff face. Maybe it's a very scenic cliff face with pretty mosses and lichen on it. Go for a swim. Don't want to jump off the ship and get sucked into a riptide and drown? Me either. That would be a very depressing beginning. Ooh. Testing, testing. You copy? Ooh. Ah, so you can hear me. I'm able to see you, too. Ooh. I almost forgot to tell you something important. Ooh. Do you know about battles? You know, like fighting. Ooh. Battle starts with B. Just keep that in mind. Ooh. Press the B button to enter battle mode. Oh, that's a good trick. Thanks, Professor. Ooh. There you'll be able to attack and more. Ooh. It'll automatically target the closest enemy. Ooh. It'll target him too, so don't just freeze up. Ooh. Press the B button again to turn battle mode off. Ooh. That's the best way to run. But he can't retaliate. Ooh. Get used to moving in and out of battle mode. Yeah, yeah, I will. Ooh. Oh, and don't pick fights with anything unusual. Ooh. History of violence will ruin a reputation. That's a good point. I'm sorry that I picked that fight with that crab now. I didn't mean to. You know, Terry's Ooh. just a kid. He's just going through a phase, you know? A phase where he wanted to look all cool. But he didn't mean it. So I'm not going to pick fights with these guys. From now on, I only pick fights Ooh. with guys who pick fights with me. Makes sense. Ooh. That guy is just violent. I'm better than that. I'm better than that guy. That guy is just a jerk. Ooh. It, again? Okay, Professor. What is it? Ooh. There's something else I should mention. Ooh. Special moves, which I like to call techs. Oh, like technique. Ooh. Press the Y button to see all available techs. Ooh. Once you've selected one, press the A button. Ooh. Use the control... Okay. Ooh. Take your time. This menu stops time itself. Ooh. Terry will use a tech on the enemy target. Ooh. And up here is his tech meter. Ooh. See it? Oh yeah, it's the one that the little hand is pointing to. That's a neat trick. Thanks, Professor. Ooh. 
The meter will rise as Terry defeats enemies. Oh! That's not usually how I expect these things to work. Ooh. Raise his skill and he'll learn more text. Okay. Ooh. Texts are available at any time. Ooh. Press the X button to check. Okay, I'm... Well, I guess we're still at the tutorial, huh? Leave it to old mackerel phones to be Ooh. at less than half HP in just the tutorial. So how do we save? Does it just save automatically sometimes, or does it save using that little icon down in the corner there? Is that what I do? Can I... Yeah! That does do something. Wait, fame? What? What about fame? Um... Well... What does this do? Oh, that just leaves the menu. Oh, and we can also walk around using the style. Okay. Neat! But hold on, I really want to learn how to save. How do you save? I, I mean, I understand that nothing's happened yet, but I still want to save. Um. Uh. Well, I didn't figure out how to save. So I just really hope that it's like an auto save game. That's what I really hope. Really, really, really. Really hope. Ooh. Well, as it turns out, this is how you save. Ah, uh, Harry could probably use a good nap after that nap he had like a few. Oh, in all fairness, he has been through a lot since. Uh, what you reading there, Professor? Pro professor, you uh. Um, well, I guess this is how the professor spends his evenings. I mean, I I, I can relate, except for the pet. What do I do? Oh. Alarm clock went off, huh? Well, all right. Hey, Terry, need a bath? You need to do you? Hmm. It's so warm and comforting. Okay, so that's how you replenish health. Now, what's this? What's the globe for? Well, I mean, I know what globes are for. In what way is this globe broken? Can it not spin? I guess that's what it is. That's sad. Well, at least I fixed the sound now. Even if I forgot to save. Ooh. Oh, oh god, I gotta go through this again! Okay. Ooh. 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 